In this video, we will explore the rule when dividing like bases, subtract the exponents to cancel. Let's consider this example first. x to the fifth divided by x squared. Here, this fraction indicates division. So we're dividing x to the fifth by x squared. Here we're dividing and the bases are like because both bases are x. All we need to do is subtract the exponents to cancel. The way that we do this to cancel is we look at where there are more factors of x, either in the numerator or in the denominator. Here, this exponent of 5 indicates that there are 5 factors of x in the numerator. In other words, we could write this equivalently as x times x times x times x times x. That's what x to the fifth power means. Divided by x squared, which means x times x. Since exponents tell you how many times to use the base as a factor, all of these x's in the numerator are factors, and we can cancel factors. Everything in the denominator is also are also factors, so we can cancel an x in the numerator with an x in the denominator, and an x in the numerator with an x in the denominator. So effectively, whenever we're dividing like bases, all we're doing is canceling, just like we did here. Now, this is not work that you actually want to show every time you do this, because notice what the result is. After everything is canceled, we're left with x times x times x, or x to the third power. That's exactly the same result we would get if we were to apply this rule. We subtract the exponents to cancel. So we have x to the fifth divided by x squared. The exponents are 5 and 2. Since there are more x's in the numerator, just like when I wrote it out here, there would be more x's in the numerator, that means that our answer will be in the numerator. So when we do the subtracting, we'll subtract the larger from the smaller in the numerator. This x to the 5 minus 2 power simplifies to x cubed, just like we saw when we worked it out using the definition of an exponent. Now let's consider the second example. y to the 5th over y to the 7th power. This example is slightly different because there are fewer factors of y in the numerator than there are in the denominator. If I were to write this out, I would have y to the fifth power as five factors of y in the numerator. In the denominator, I have y to the seventh power. So that means that I have seven factors of y in the denominator. An important thing to notice here is that there are actually more factors of y in the denominator than there are in the numerator, and that's very obvious once you've written out the factors using the definition of an exponent. Now let's cancel to see what we get. We can cancel these factors, these factors, these factors, these ones, and those factors. Now there's nothing left to cancel in the numerator. If you've canceled everything from either the numerator or the denominator, you're left with 1. So this means that when we're all finished, we will have a 1 in the numerator. In the denominator, there are still two factors of y that didn't get canceled, and we can write that as y squared. This is what the math looks like if you actually use the definition of an exponent and write all your work out. However, we can use this rule once again. In this case, the two cancel part is what really comes into play. Because what we're doing is we're canceling factors of y in the numerator with factors of y that are in the denominator. This means I need to think, are there more factors of y in the numerator or more factors of y in the denominator? And in this case, since there are more factors of y in the denominator, that's where I'm going to be left with some factors. So that means that I'm still going to have a fraction in my answer all of the y's will have canceled from the numerator, which will leave me with a 1 in the numerator. And the denominator is where I do my subtracting of the exponents. This becomes y to the 7 
minus 5. In this case, when you look at it from this perspective, you always want to subtract the larger from the smaller. And this is going to end up simplifying down to 1 over y squared. 7 minus 5 is 2. So this is 1 over y squared, just like we got when we used the definition of an exponent.